What's up, dive hards? We are finally back in Indonesia, which has basically been closed to foreign travel since the start of the pandemic. And man, does it feel good to be back here. The food, the people, and of course, the diving. This time we're gonna be exploring the Banda Sea and the Spice Islands on this beautiful sailing vessel, the Samambaya. So it wasn't easy or pleasant to get here. From our home base in Florida, it was four flights and roughly 40 hours before finally touched down in Ambon, where I grabbed my bags and met up with the crew from the Samambaya, which took us to the boat. We settled in, spent some time ogling over how beautiful this boat is, and then went for a check dive. As a dive destination, Ambon is best known for world-class muck diving, which is basically finding really strange and weird critters in a dive site that would otherwise be pretty shitty. Our check dive was not a muck dive and was nothing to write home about by Indo standards, but I'd argue that even a meh dive in Indonesia is far better than some of the best diving we have available at home in the Caribbean. This itinerary is a unique one. We'll be sailing through the Banda Sea, which is home to the Spice Islands, which were once the center of wealth for the Dutch colonies and are still home to schooling hammerheads, migratory whales, pristine coral reefs, and what I'm most excited about, sea snakes. morning. Today we're going to be diving around Manuk, which is a small volcanic island that I have wanted to dive ever since I saw that sea snake sequence in the original Blue Planet. And Manuk is a still pretty active volcano. You can definitely smell the sulfur. The black sand that surrounds the island is hot to the touch and that's one of the main reasons why this place is a hot spot for sea snakes, which also happen to be some of the most venomous of all snakes. So if we're lucky, we're gonna see them in huge numbers hunting on the reef. Let's gear up and see what we can find. Thank you. 
So we absolutely got lucky with those sea snakes. And now we're actually gearing up to go for a night dive. And what I really love about this boat in particular is that every night we get the option to choose between a classic reef night dive and what I've really been enjoying this trip, blackwater diving. There is some wild stuff down there, so let's see what we can find. So we are officially in the Banda Islands, and unfortunately, our trip is coming to an end. So far, we've logged around 32 hours underwater, and we've even spent some time on land checking out some of the local culture and history, which is actually really interesting. In our last few days of diving, we're gonna explore some more coral gardens and try to find those hammerheads that have eluded us so far.
So we never did find those hammerheads, but there were reports of them in the area, which is super encouraging since, honestly, there aren't many sharks left in Indonesia anymore. Its proximity to China and other major shark fin markets means that these populations were some of the first to get decimated. And that doesn't mean that there's not pockets of hope like Raja Ampat, but in general, I don't come to Indonesia anymore to see sharks. What I do come to Indo for, and what it has in abundance, is healthy coral reefs and incredible biodiversity. The coral gardens we saw on this trip were stunning. Some of the most impressive hard corals I've seen anywhere in the world. A lot of which were unbleached and in really good shape. And every time I come to Indonesia, I tend to discover a few new species that I had no idea existed or maybe haven't thought about since high school biology. Like the rad little boxer crab, which has stinging anemones on its fists that it punches with. Super cool. But for me, the highlight of this trip by far, and something that you don't find anywhere else in the world, were the sea snakes at Manuk. To see them hunting on the reef together with the jacks in those numbers was some serious planet Earth shit. Also like super rare and lucky by the way. We had two days at Manuk. The first day we had virtually all of the action. We came back a few days later and there were maybe one tenth of the sea snakes around. And apparently that's the more typical experience of Manuk. But man, being surrounded by all those super venomous sea snakes is intense. Like at one point they started licking my toes through my fin pocket and I just freaked out. Definitely not the activity for everyone. And on that point, our cruise director Daniel was really flexible with us and let me and my buddy Angiolo, who's also an experienced diver, go off on our own and dive the same dive site over and over again, trying to maximize the probability of seeing this event. And I'm really grateful for this flexibility since without it, we wouldn't have experienced what we did. And aside from just being a great dive operation, the Samambaya is a really well laid out and luxurious boat. The crew is top notch. They're attentive and professional, but also just really fun and friendly people. The food is legit the best I've had on any liveaboard. Fresh fruits and salads every day, fantastic coffee, really tasty gourmet dinners every night. Like, I don't normally do luxury, but when I do, I like to do it on the Samambaya. But seriously, if you're thinking about splurging on your next trip to Indonesia, give this one a go. It's definitely worth it. And until next time, dive hard. <laughs> <laughs>